I'm Matt Audley. I'm a PhD student at Rothamsted Research and the University of Nottingham. My project, which is funded by BBSRC, aims to address the issue of maintaining the production of wheat under the effects of climate change. The world's population will probably be around 9 billion people by 2050. To feed that many people, the production of wheat needs to increase by about 60%. Currently, climate change is making it difficult to maintain the levels of production we have at the moment. For every one degree Celsius increase in temperature, wheat yield decreases by 6%. That would be enough wheat to make 42 billion loaves of bread per year. It's predicted that Britain will begin experiencing more frequent heat waves during the early summer months. And this is a major problem for British wheat growers because it's during these months that wheat plants are beginning to develop floral organs and flowers. One organ in particular, the anther, where pollen is produced, is very sensitive to high temperature. When it gets above 30 degrees Celsius, there are cells inside the anther which support developing pollen cells which die prematurely, and this renders the plant sterile and unable to produce the grains that we eat. One approach that I'm taking to stop this from happening is developing a method of determining where in reproductive development a wheat plant is without first having to cut it open. Uh, so this allows me to apply high temperature treatments to a, a batch of wheat plants and be sure that any differences that I see is because of the temperature treatment that I applied and not because of differences in reproductive development. So using this method, I've used gene sequencing technology to determine which genes are naturally switched on or switched off in response to a high temperature shock. Uh, this has allowed me to draw up a comprehensive list of all of the genes which respond to temperature in the anthers. This should be useful for other scientists and wheat breeders uh, in developing high temperature tolerant varieties of wheat. So I'm also interested in two genes uh, which we already suspect are involved in wheat pollen development. The first is called gibberellin responsive MIB and the second is called BHLH141. Um, excitingly, it seems that both genes uh, might be regulated by a plant hormone called gibberellin. And this opens up the possibility that uh, by manipulating wheat sensitivity to gibberellin, we might be able to increase heat tolerance. We've overcome the challenge of feeding a growing population in the latter half of the last century by developing new wheat varieties which had shorter stems. This was termed the Green Revolution. These varieties were the result of breeding for decreased sensitivity to gibberellin. So I hope that my work in understanding how hormones and genes control the development of anthers and the production of pollen in wheat and how that is affected by high temperature, uh, that I can make a contribution to developing the temperature tolerant varieties that we will need to feed the 9 billion people in 2050.